Hello there, gentlemen. Welcome back to Punch Club. I'm the Marmoset, and this is Punch Jar in the basement of his mansion. Last episode, we discovered that the man we've been chasing is actually our father, so we're not actually sure who actually killed our father after we beat our brother up and kicked him in the burn a few times. So, the plot got very confusing. The game also kind of went a bit bleh and didn't necessarily let me come back. So, we've arrived back here to try and finish up the Dark Fist plotline. But we have no way of getting back to the island to re-trigger the end of the cutscene, so we'll just have to wait and see. In the moment, we're just doing some training. Our agility appears to be above 18 at the moment. Just a bit of a ticking down much. Even though the potion's worn off, the effects of it appear to have hung around, which is nice to see. So we're just doing a little bit of training to make ourselves just a little bit more dangerous versus the evil robots we'll be fighting. And while we wait for our health to just kind of tick up a fair bit. One of Mitch's knows, oh, I missed the thing on the day tick. Drat, I went past it too much. I wanted to see whether we were still getting our endorsements. Because we can't talk to Don King anymore to get the cheap. The, uh, his endorsement system is a very effective way of getting a lot of cash for us. Now, we do have 11,000. But that will go away quite quickly, given the amount of meat we eat. I don't want to necessarily have to go back to grinding on the normal jobs. Yeah, we'll try, uh, just... Fans have been done on this for a bit. Now, if you go all the way up the robot tree, you do get a 50% chance, yeah, 100% chance of getting an armor part. Now, I don't necessarily want to spend too much time going all the way up, because I think a 50% chance is probably good enough. I suspect that while we did get lucky fighting C3PO last time, whichever is at the end of that tree is probably going to be pretty nasty. I don't necessarily uh, want to beat them all, because we now beat all the movie stars that got more dangerous. Yep, you're done. Head on out. Uh, let's skip for a bit, shall we? Yeah, so we might, it's stuck up at an 18, so... Ah, and we are getting the income. Good, so we are getting some cash. So we can afford to stay, keep in meat, and keep other lady sweet on us. Speaking of the young lady, we should go and buy her favour. Can't talk to Don anymore. Nothing happens. Make a gift. Yay, present! So sweet! Thank you! Yes, we are. Make another gift. These last four days, and they cost 150 each, we make 800 in the same period through our endorsements. Yep, we are indeed sweet. So that we should be able to fall in love. I suspect we may need to do some chatting. Nope, good. I have bought her favor. But more important than your fights, of course, I'll always have time for you. First, I need to eat a large quantity of meat. I didn't need meat to eat all three, I should have eaten some of the pieces. Fine, at least we're good. Don't need the energy, since we're probably about to go and pick a fight. I'm pretty happy with how we're looking. What we can do is even up the odds just a little bit further, and slug another potion. Now we're up to 20. That should make ourselves even more dangerous. Let's go and beat up some robots. I'm happy with that build, I don't want to run out of energy. Wow, 36 point combat is a nice start. He's out of energy. We're taking very little damage. There goes his energy again, and there goes all his health. Come on, give it another good hit. Down in the second round. We took barely any damage. We'll continue this fight. Let's knock this guy down. You can miss and try all you want, you skinny little tin man. So it stops me engaging one of my attributes. Just sat there not doing very much. Debuffs, high kicks, blocks. Get on the ground. Out of my way. There you know, I am the Dark Fist and I have business with your master. Hello, Robocop. I need to kick him in the head a lot. You, you have to start with less health than I did. It's very rare these days. Down in the oh, end of the third of the round, you are... Your build was a bit weak against me. Continue. It's the Cylon again. You don't dodge, but I'm okay with just still kicking you. You don't block, so I'm okay with still using this kick one. Right, winning the energy battle, winning the DPS. An extra 20 on agility is to make me a bit of a difference. So, it turns out that in this game, drugs pay. 
And he's gonna go down there pretty quickly. And I'm feeling pretty good about our chances right now, so I'm gonna continue and fight off C3PO, or whatever it's actually called. So it starts off with less health than we do. Just to see how many hit points we've got at the end of it. So I might be in the mood to actually do a full run on this. You are just merrily missing me. Yeah, one hit kill. Bang, down we go. Alright, 148 points of damage. I want to see who the next guy is. It's the Terminator. Terminator type B, apparently. I expect that will probably go up next time. You are... Turtle type. Rackham Strike Modifier. Miss costs energy. If active, all your strikes that miss are cost of energy. Suicidal attack. Alright, so he's got those two on to essentially balance them out. And a couple nasty punches. Let's carry on with our current rig and see how far we get. Alright, early exchanges are in our favour. He's got a lot of hit points. DPS isn't going in our favour. He's winning the energy battle, but he's a turtle type with a lot of energy modifiers, so I'm pretty happy with that. Ooh, small noises from there, little little mongoose. Definitely going in our favour so far. I think we're going to get ourselves another part here and a big chunk of skill points. The Dark Fist is resilient. The Dark Fist will beat your robot minions. All hail the Dark Fist. Down you go, machine man. We win. 100% chance, 15 skill points. Nice. Hey, Mick. Now we have chest and arms. City map. Mix. Can I talk to you? Apparently not. So I need to keep going then. I'm assuming we probably need the headpiece. Alright, well in that case, since we're in a pretty good condition, we will go and see the Chinese man about a thing. Hello. Would you be so kind as to, you know, heal me? I'm vaguely injured. Some small movements. Yes, thank you very much. I wish to go and fight more robots. Exactly the same build. Leave it up on high speed. Let's see how quickly we can get through these guys. Given how we absolutely murdered them last time, I'm not expecting them to put up much of a fight. I mean, yeah, this guy's all met this guy's out energy already. So, oh, there's the RNG means we might take a bit more damage over time, but as long as we've got at least 150 or so, before, I'm happy to take the final fight. And it doesn't mean we'll have a 50% chance of getting a bit of a cover. Will you just punch him and get him down? One more hit. Thank you, on the counter attack. Continue. Ah, oh, I didn't spend my skill points, or he should have done. So you remember this guy went down like a big sack of metal. Like you dropped him in the water. 52 combo. So we'll flash up, there goes the energy. Not gonna, I don't think it's gonna be a single round victory, but we should go down pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, very quickly indeed. And with that, we will continue. Fight you. This build seems to work quite nice. It gives us the energy balance we want. The Moonflow dodge, the counter attacking, energy, uh, energy loss mitigation, the armor penetration, and that fact that it just can't block that often. Continue. You've got more health than you had last time I saw you. It's very interesting to see. I don't know where you're getting that from. I'm assuming, obviously, as I beat all the way through, you've upgraded slightly. There was an argument we had there, perhaps not actually going all the way through. I'm just going at 30% chance. You no, know, that you can always come back to it relatively easily. Which is probably what I'm going to do now, because I'm not too convinced. About the amount of parts we got. Aluminium tray, insulating tape, and a power core. Don, did you get one of this place? Alright. Where the turtle. We've already got meat runner. Heavy workout. 50% waste, 50% less energy while working out. Sounds interesting. Meat hook, energizer, iron curtain as a block, backbreaker. It hits your opponent when they have to skip the attacking phase. The idea behind a lot of these is that you prevent the guy from attacking. Interesting. That said, basic skills, where the tiger. Karate chop. Interesting that one. Flip kick does interest me. 
uses less energy, does a little bit less damage, but is more accurate, and would be a useful thing to switch out when we're facing one who isn't blocking. So I will have that one, thank you very much. We will pop back to Chinatown by bus. We will get healed up by the Drunken Master. Injured! I require more vodka at short notice, my friend. Give me some more food. Nice. Don's very secret base. Bar, sporting guard, sewers, underwater base. So where do we actually get Don saying? Let's go. Hello, Don. What's up, Don? Okay. Power armor. Yes, it's Bobo. Need to assemble the power armor. You've done it. Better than your brother. Interesting. I'm assuming we probably need to go through all the way through Don's very secret base on this occasion. Which we will do. Ah, I came for the power core. It's Don. In an edge to that thing. I heard about you, Dark Fist. Take the core if you dare. Alright, let's go. Robodon! <laughs> I know. Um, you appear to be a mix of bear and turtle. Block. Two types of blocking. Energy damper. Stamina damper. I'm happy with the rig we've got. I'm happy with our stupid agility. Let's kick him in the robo parts. We're at full power. He's running low on energy. DPS is very much in our favor. We've taken no hits. We're doing a lot more on him. Not this down to a two. Fight. Come on. This is getting very one sided. Hit me, will you? Oh, there we go. There's a connection. We'll be counted it by 55 combat thanks to counters. You're going down very, very rapidly. See, punch jars then had a kick thanks to the power of drugs, cheating, and strained effects. There you go, Don. Here's the power core. <laughs> Great, now your power is ready. Everything you need in your hands, Dark Fist. You have the full power armor. It looks tough. Nice. Achievement power armor. Story. So, having completed the power armor, we should go and make an attempt. Uh, well, let's make sure we're actually at full health. So, we will head home. Grab a couple snacks from the fridge. And in this case, a pizza, which will bring us back up to full health. And let's see how far we can get. Ooh, that's the button wrong. With the underwater base. Let's take the bus. To the underwater base. We've got power armor. They've got power armor. Punch chart and power armor. means we don't die instantly. It's actually a balanced fight. Though it's not necessarily really to balance on their foe. Um, so they, their foe, DPS is very much in our favour. Energy, they're bouncing up pretty quickly, so I'm not too worried. It's a double fight, so we've got to beat both of the power armor units. I'm assuming the goons would have to worry about beating them. The first one's going down, we've only taken 14 points of damage. Pretty pleased with that. Let's take on the next one. He's an agility build. Let's drop that and bring in our... Flip kick. Oh, I was expecting more of the flipping. I suppose you can't really flip very easily in power armor. Mimic technique. So technically when he hits us, he will do a measure of counter attack. The 38 points of combo. You still actually got to get the hit in this thing. You are blood power! Nice. Well, you're still going down. On a counter attack as well, which is kind of embarrassing for you. Fluffy? My cat's alive! My good, is it? The... a what? The cat's the evil genius. He's got a nuke. Golden statue. But, but, you're dead! You're just a cat. How can you be... Congratulations, you're correct. I am a cat. But thanks to that goddamn medallion, my life will be the same. When I was a kitten and lived with Mick, I like to play with a medallion. Is it? It changed me. 
You were a teenager and Mick had lost the bloody medallion. Find it again. Right. <laughs> you mean to upgrade build the thing? To cause trouble! <laughs> uh, we never did feed the cat. What's the rest of Bit of my empire. Yes, I just realized we never actually fed the cat. Revenge! Moronic humans. Yeah, I did leave the control suit just behind. <laughs> Fake my own death! Meow. You deliberately let go, you cunning cat. Sneaky feline. Haha, <laughs> meow. Can't stop me now. Meow. Bad fucking. <laughs> Bad kitty. <laughs> now, what did you see? Build the underground nuclear bases of bombs again. Do you hear me? Avenge Fluffy. Turns out, Fluffy is kind of a douche. So, it seems it's time for the Dark Fist to hand up his mask and shorts. If we need again the hero, I will be around. Father's killer. And remember, Fluffy. Catstration for you! Her meow. Good kitty. Indeed. Alright. Having avenged our father's killer. Having discovered that our father's killer was actually in fact our father, so who is the person we got shot? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know, there may even be time travel involved if it was that kind of convoluted. We have reached a point now where the, the story of Punch Jar has ended. We've discovered that our father is still alive as a man with a broken eye living on an evil island. We picked up rather than this. We've discovered that our cat, our glorious Fluffy, is actually an evil genius and responsible for trying to kill us in this case and the hero of the Dark Fist. All slightly strange, don't you think? So let's finish this story off where we started it. In the gym, beating up on Silver. Yes, I will pay the money to fight Silver. And we'll just run the clock down on this episode. Ooh, it's like Marmoth and Mongoosey noises in the background there to finish it off. So, this has been Punch Club. What do I think of it? I've certainly enjoyed it. Um, you've not, I mean, I've not been a very particularly efficient player of the game. Um, I've spent a fair bit of time um, having to grind. I think we've, there's been at least a hundred days of stuff, possibly a hundred days of stuff I've not recorded um, because I've just been grinding. Um, so it has been a quite a bit of work. I'll be back in just a sec once I've calmed down that little mongoose. Oh, that's that little one tidy. What was I saying? Yeah, Punch Club. I've enjoyed it. It's been good fun. Um, there has been quite a bit of grind in the later sessions to get ourselves up to the stats we wanted. Uh, yeah, like I said, that 100 days worth of it, I think at least I've not recorded and just skipped over because it was just a training regime. It was a large period where we got first got to the mansion where I just kind of screwed up and had to go back to working a manual construction job to make enough money to get anywhere. But overall, I think it's been a good fun game. I've enjoyed the ridiculous plot. I've enjoyed the ridiculously awful dialogue. The graphics are pretty beautiful. Um, go on in the gym. I mean, I would go and chat with Roy, but um, unfortunately we've lost Roy. Roy died a deeply unpleasant death at the hands of the Russian guy who then went and came to kill and beat up when we all went to Russia and yeah it's this is very much a classic pastiche on all the classic fighting things classic 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 they use that word more um a solid pastiche and a good fun game I've enjoyed playing it I hope you've enjoyed watching it this episode's probably going to be a little bit short um because there's not much really to do once you've beaten the game so thank you very much for watching Thank you very much for being with me on our journey through with Punch Jard. He's now bored of the Punch Club. <laughs> Let's get on the tie while we do it. He's been Punch Card. But, yeah. See, this is what happens. When you try and pitch up a good thing. Let's try that again. Deep breath. I've been the Marmoset. He has been Punch Jard, and he is now the proud owner of the medallion, both sides. He is the leader and the hero of Punch Club. Please remember to like, comment, or subscribe. I'd be particularly interested in what kind of action style game you'd like me to put in this slot next. I already have one in mind, but I am going to take comments um, and suggestions. Bye for now.